A man is going mad. They are insisting. They keep calling your name. They say it is you or no one else. The power of persistence. The power of persistence. When you are persistent, people will try to hush you. When you are persistent, people will try to shut you down. When you are persistent, people will try to make sure just to stop you from getting to where you want to get to. But your persistence will speak. Your persistence has an energy. It has a voice that will speak at the end of the day. When the Lord dropped this word in my spirit, just one thing came to my mind. Of course, that is how God speaks. God can just drop a particular word. And right now, maybe sometimes when I receive this word, I just write it down. And when I start releasing the prophetic word, the Holy Spirit just takes over and say exactly what he intended by this word. And like, but when the Lord gave me this prophetic word, one thing came to my spirit. The story of blind Bartimaeus. Now he was blind, he could not see, and he heard Jesus of Nazareth was passing by. And somehow he knew Jesus had the solution to his problem. And so he began to shout out to him, Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. Guess what? The people that were around him, they hushed him, they said, sit quiet. Why are you calling on Jesus? He knew Jesus had the solution to his problem. He knew if Jesus does not heal him, no one else will. He is going to die blind. And so he had, to, he had to ignore the voice that was telling him to stop. He had to ignore the voice that was trying to quench his faith. And the Bible says the more they told him to stop, he shouted the more. Jesus, son of, he did not care if there was a, a crowd of people surrounding Jesus. He did not care if the people did not want Jesus to have access to him. He cried out to God, have mercy on me, have mercy. And his shout caught the attention of Jesus. And Jesus asked him, what do you want? He said that I may regain my sight. I think what God is trying to give or tell someone by this prophetic word is the power of persistence. Once you are persistent in having something, nothing can stop you. Once you are persistent, it doesn't matter the obstacles that are around you, nothing can stop you. Your persistence has a way of, of showing your faith. Your persistence has a way you know, look at the woman with the issue of blood. I mean, she had to fight through a lot to get to Jesus. She had to go past the stigma. She had to go past the fear of her being chased away. She had to go past all of that just to touch the hem of Jesus' garment. God is telling someone today, you have to be persistent. You see how blind Bartimaeus cried out? You can cry out to God like that in your place of prayer. You can cry out to God. It is your persistence that will bet a miracle. Your persistence will get the attention of Jesus and it is going to bet a miracle for you. Blind Bartimaeus shouted, shouted, he screamed, Jesus, son of David, have mercy. Have mercy. I want to see again. Restore my sight. I want to see. And Jesus could not ignore that voice of persistence. Child of God, this is not a moment where you give up, no. It is not a time when you give up. This is the time when you shout, when you cry out to God, when you pray, when you fast, when you make sacrifices, so seek until something happens because you know it's either God responds to you or no one else will. I don't know, maybe you have a plan B. But to me, I always tell myself, if God does not do this for me, it will not be done. So I seek him with all that might, knowing he is the only one that can do it for me. If you are like me, and you, it is only God you have, you don't have a plan B, then you've got to decide to be persistent and do not give up in seeking God concerning that issue. 
Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.